say, 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 na, hey, na, baby. Morning. I just listened to Maroon 5. Uh, good morning. It's finally Friday. It's July 20th. And uh, it's the last day of me being on my own without the one. She's back Monday. Uh, for those of you asking all week, the amount of texts and uh, calls I was getting of people kind of saying, um, where's Elaine? Um, is Elaine off? Why haven't you said where Elaine is? Oh my God, is everything okay? Everything's fine, lads. Uh, weather-wise this morning, um, do you know what? It's actually a little bit overcast and wet outside as I was going in. Now, it hadn't been, it, it had been raining. It had stopped when I left the house earlier on. I'm not sure what it's like right now. Because as you can see, that's just kind of a blacked out glass behind me. Uh, not blacked out, you know what I mean, fogged out, whatever, it's early. Um, but we're going to see further showers in places this morning, mixed today with a few um, hazy spells of sunshine breaking through and highest temperatures of up to 22 degrees. And looking ahead for tomorrow, actually, because I'm going to a wedding, so hopefully people will get decent weather if you're doing something similar tomorrow. Um, it's actually not bad again, sunshine expected across most parts of the county, the odd scattered shower, and temperatures on average for the weekend, 20 or 21 degrees, all right. Let's have a look at the papers this morning. Um, the Irish Daily Mail says, we'll regulate Facebook if Leo won't, uh, won't vows Fianna Fáil. Party pledges to force through law, creating social media regulator. And Fury, as GAA says, it can't let Roy Keane play the charity game at Parky Cueve. Uh, we'll come to the trends in a second. It is one of the top trends this morning. People are going mad at the fact that the uh, Parky Cueve, Cork County Board and the GAA have said no to the Liam Miller charity match uh, taking place there. Tickets go on sale for it this morning at 10 o'clock and there's only 7,000 available because it's on in Cork City's home ground of Turner's Cross. So they're saying, lads, if you give us Parky Cueve, we've got all these legends coming to play in Cork and we'll sell it out. That's what they're saying about Parky Cueve. The Times Ireland edition, no deal Brexit, hit Irish hardest, warns IMF and a picture of Theresa May on the front page there. And Trump plans summit with Putin in the White House. Apparently he's going to invite Vladimir Putin to the White House as well. The Irish Examiner this morning says two overpaid staff by more than one million euro. How can you overpay staff by more than one million euro? Well, you'll find out in the Examiner this morning. 2017 report highlights the shortcomings in oversight as one child is referred to the agency every 10 minutes. Amazing stuff. And on the front page of the Examiner as well, uh, it was Ladies Day yesterday at the Killarney Races and there's a fantastic uh, picture of um, uh, a lady from the Stolen in, in here in Kerry uh, with a, a really cool hat, a funky looking hat. Uh, that's also on the front page there this morning. And Rory in the running, McElroy makes impressive start to the Open. I think he's three off the lead there. The Sun this morning says, I thought I was dead as she sped off. A hero Garda reveals terror. Uh, car rampage cases uh, that's the main headline on the front page of the sun and there's a picture of Glenda Gilson in a in a bikini or a bra knickers actually I think it is and it says Glenda bump exco exposed and uh, she looks fantastic on the front page with a baby bump by all accounts on the front page of the Irish Sun there this morning uh, top trends in Ireland today Leitrim is trending uh, now up to just a few hours ago um, Leitrim Sligo and North West Common we're debating who their next general election candidates will be for Fine Gael. And Jerry Reynolds and Sinead Maguire were both chosen uh, literally only about four hours ago. Uh, but it's trending because people were up there. And our sister station, Shannon Side FM, were also covering it uh, to the wee hours. Uh, the Open, as we mentioned, is trending as well. Rory's three off the lead there. Kisner leads on five under. And Liam Miller tickets go on sale this morning, we mentioned. And there's war over this fact that Parky Cueve is not being made available. Now, can I be honest? Like... A couple of years ago, when the Aviva was being redone, we allowed soccer into Croke Park. I say we, the GEA allowed soccer into Croke Park. And it made perfect sense because, obviously, um, it needed to be done. The IRFU also got in there. It wasn't just soccer, it was rugby as well, of course. And we, need, we had no stadium big enough for games like that. But to be honest, the rules are there. Like I, I don't particularly see a problem with it not being in Park Cueve. I know if Elaine was there, she'd disagree with me, but... Um, I don't think it's a bad thing. The rules are rules, do you know what I mean? Uh, if it gets changed, by the way, and there's a match goes ahead there for Liam Miller, great, I have no problem with that. I'm just saying people can't go completely mad. It's not like they're just saying no for the crack. It just goes against their rules. Uh, and Alisson, the uh, Liverpool goalkeeper, still trending this morning. It's revealed he signed a six-year deal on that 75 million euro fee uh, as Liverpool's new goalkeeper. Uh, now, let's talk about computer viruses for a second. Rowan Atkinson, the man who plays Mr. Bean, is not dead. Okay, let's just get that out of the way straight away. There's a hoax going on on the internet that he has passed away. And uh, especially on Twitter, you might see a little window with a play button to click on it. It's, um, it's a fake news report, except it's not even a report. When you click the little play button, it looks like it's a video. Um, it brings you to a new web page that says security alert, and it's actually a virus. It locks your computer, and it's a virus. So if you see anything online today that talks about Rowan Atkinson, and him passing away. 
Rowan Atkinson is perfectly healthy and still very much alive. So this is just a hoax, but for some reason, some creeps out there have decided to make this into a computer virus and lock your computer. So if you spot this, don't fall for it, okay? And it's World Lollipop Day today. Go out and buy yourself a lollipop, give it a good old lick, uh, and enjoy the fun day, encouraging people to appreciate all kinds of lollipops. So get out there and buy one today. And um, before we finish up, my favorite headline this morning from any of the papers is this. Millions of adults think that they can get away with the perfect crime because they watch too many TV crime thrillers, a study has found. I'm just picturing some clown watching CSI, a murder occurs, and they think that they'll be able to get away with it by getting an old cloth, a bottle of bleach, and you wipe away all the evidence. Not always the case, lads. It's much more complicated than that. So, a uh, couple of things. Don't try to commit the perfect crime, and don't commit murder. And we'll all have a good Friday. Um, now, uh, on the show this morning, we are giving away flights to Palma in Mallorca. They're the last flights I have from Shannon Airport and Ryanair, which are direct from Shannon Airport. Uh, it's for you and three friends. We'll give you all a checked-in bag. We'll give you priority boarding and return flights from Shannon Airport to Palma. So that's coming up on the show this morning. And probably an even bigger prize, the Super 8 second round is on this weekend. Kerry will play Monaghan, and I have the tickets to give away on the show this morning. So I'll call somebody back, and we'll give away the uh, final pair of tickets on that. This, uh, on the show this morning as well so if you want to give me a shout text or whatsapp 083 300 3300 i'm going to stick down the coffee there now and get a breakfast into me before we go live in about two or three minutes uh busy show coming up between now and nine o'clock music as well it being friday if there's something i can play for you absolutely let me know here in the comments or text it or whatsapp it and we'll get them on the radio and if you've got plans for the weekend if you're doing anything or if you're doing absolutely nothing let me know and we'll give you a shout out on the show this morning all right have a wonderful friday enjoy your weekend and we'll talk to you in a few minutes Good luck.